Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Starsick. How the hell are you? I have been alright. Although as you can see, there might have been a certain change that you might not notice. Yeah, so my eye is back to being its two pixel self and I don't know how to fix it because I've done everything correct and it says I'm doing everything correct but it's just not working. Uh, but the reason that my eye is back to being its two pixel self is because I've actually finally moved my server, this server, the server of Anadonia, onto its own private host. Yeah, I caved, I bought a host. Originally I was gonna run this, uh, this server off my laptop, I wiped it and everything, uh, but even after port forwarding, um, again, correctly, it just didn't work at all. It took too long to connect for some reason, and then it just ended up kicking me out, which wasn't great, but eh, this is actually pretty cheap, all things considered. 8 gigabyte server, only 140 something a year, which is, considering most people would make you pay, like, monthly that much for a server like this. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's really poor timing. <laughs> <laughs> the server didn't crash, my client crashed. That's such poor timing. <laughs> oh my god. Right, I'll be back in a second. Or oh, you know what? No, never mind. It's down for some reason. That's got to be the worst timing in all of history. And no, I'm not blurring out your advertisement on the server. If you're going to crash midway through me shilling you, you can shill my deck. Just hoping that that was just a happy little accident. Feels weird and uncomfortable seeing my regular eyes back on the skin. But either way, to finish off where we were last time, we've got to take a trip down the rabbit hole and into here, where things are decidedly not as I left them last time. Ooh, I left my chicken back at the base. That's not good. Do we have any food in here? I don't particularly think I can eat a rock, so I'm kind of out of luck for those two. Never mind, make that all three of them. I'm going to starve. It baffles me that I've yet to automate food production, even for something as simple as bread. I think I should put that on the board for the next episode of Anadonia. I'm guessing a bell pepper's just gonna have to do for a little bit. Ooh, we gained a heart. How loving. A tartar. That is nothing. And a strawberry. Better than nothing. So. As you may remember, in the last episode of Starsick, this wasn't here. Instead, we had the failed Astro Relay here. I believe it was called the Astro Relay. Let's just pull up uh, Astral Sorcery on the side. Celestial Gateway, not Astral Relay. That's these things. And you may also notice that the pylons are both higher than they were before and moved slightly outwards from where they were before. These are just two small changes that I made in between episodes because, I mean, to be fair, would, would you really miss the footage of me fixing that issue? Like, it's literally just a matter of breaking and placing blocks over here and just moving these, like, one block out. Um, however, one thing that I did uh, do in between sessions that you might have a problem with the mi missing footage for is I went around and I built a ton of Fluix crystals and I connected all of the pylons together. Like you have to for an ME system. But personally, I feel that will pale in comparison to what we have planned for today. So as you can see, these pylons are currently red. That is because they are both unpowered and... Well, actually, that's kind of it in terms of why they're red. Uh, it's, it's just the power. But they also don't have what we need in order to compress this space down into a hard disk. We're also missing the hard disk. So what we need to do in today's session, or at least what we need to try our best to achieve, is we need to get our hands on a spatial I.O. port, uh, some dense energy cells, a way to charge those energy cells, and of course a spatial I.O. port. So I think our best bet would be to go, first of all, if we type in at applied energistics for the dense energy cells. Now, I've already built one of these, if I can find it. I've already built one of these, but sadly, they don't have an EMC value. So, this is what I used it for, by the way. I built a wireless terminal. It's not actually linked up yet because it's missing a couple of things, but I'm, I'm doing that in Anadonia. So if you don't watch Anadonia and you only watch this series, then go watch Anadonia. But because these can't be EMC'd, instead what I'm gonna try and do is automate them because the rest of the process to make them can technically be automated although because we don't have a renewable source of certus quartz yet 
that might be harder than you would expect. I think our best bet would be to go with these. These pure Cetus crystals from the crystal growth accelerators. Although they say they require a Cetus quartz seed, but I don't see no seed up here. I don't see a seed for anything. Unless it's one of these, which it is. Whoopsie. Oh, so, wait. You can grow Fluix crystals. You can grow Fluix crystals. So what you're telling me is this can be automated without the need for energy condensers. They can also be grown using mystical agriculture. This is, all in all, a lot easier than I gave it credit for. There were so many other ways that I could go about this that I just haven't. And I think it's time to change that. Look out, gang. This is going to be another automation episode. And since it's an automation episode, we need to go back to the Anadonia base. Okay, so in the event that you don't recognize this, ignore it for now. In order to make dense energy cells, we need regular energy cells, which require Certus Quartz, charged Certus Quartz, or pure Certus Quartz crystals, along with Fluix dust in uh, around quartz glass and now we have renewable sources of quartz glass because they have an emc value and on top of that it's also just quartz dust and glass and uh, i mean so it could also be certus quartz dust so we've got two options there and considering you can grow nether quartz fluix and certus quartz again this is gonna become child's play but since we're wanting to just use regular certus quartz instead of growing it from a seed which would be a nice option but personally I feel would be a bad option in the long run, both due to it, you know, lagging out the server because of so many entities and also, as much as it said it, it says it doesn't despawn, I don't trust for a second that it won't. I think our best option is going to be to use Sodus Quartz Essence in a crafting grid. However, to get Sodus Quartz Essence, we need to put Sodus Quartz seeds in a botany pot with a specific type of farmland underground. Now, it can either be magical soil, tetrium, insanium, or imperium farmland now magic soil is an overgrowth seed surrounded by insanium and gaia spirit ingots in an infusion crafting table which is gaia spirit first of all would require us to nearly finish the botania mod to achieve which we've delved we've de dipped our toes into that in the past in this series but i haven't dipped it in it personally enough to know how to do that and insanium which is one of the highest tier of things you can get inside of mystical agriculture so instead of going that route what we're going to do instead is we're going to try and make ourselves some not imperium not supremium not magical soil some tetrium farmland which would require you know farmland and tetrium or dirt a hoe and tetrium and tetrium is a lot easier to make because it's just prudentium around a crystal and prudentium is just inferium around a crystal and inferium you get from literally anything Look at this, I got 32, and then I got a stack, and, uh... Oh, actually... Oh, yeah, we got another stack there, I thought we ran out. Then in this backpack, what do we have here? We've got uh, another 26, another stack, another stack. Hell, I've got some in my trash slot. And in this backpack, we got 35, a stack, a stack, a stack, a stack. And though I'm not expecting much from this backpack, I wouldn't be surprised if we had some in here. <laughs> we have exactly one. So yeah, Inferium, not really all that hard to find. However, what is going to be hard to find is my infusion crystal, since I put it down about an entire season of Anodonia ago and forgot where. Oh, that's 14 more Inferium, though. Surely it's got to be inside here, right? It can't have gone far. I wouldn't use it outside of here. It's got to be in this one. No, that's... Uh, oh, actually, yeah, hold on. I'm going to say I did that by accident, but yeah, send me to bed. I need my honk you time. My... Me, 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 Time. And surprisingly, it's not in there. Or there. Or there. Where the hell did I put this crystal? I can't have put it down here. Why would I? Oh, God, I forgot how much iron we've got down. Actually, hang on. We've got all of this iron down here. We've got a brand new use for this crafting terminal. We can just alley-oop that in, in there. Like so. Let's take all of this iron. Alan? Why can't I speak today? Let's take all of this iron and alley-oop it up in there. Saves us some space down here, which, I mean, yeah, this place was originally designed to be our, like, resources area, like our resources basement, but to be honest, with the uh, creation of the computer, we both don't need it, and the space could be better used for something else, like the crafting table that's, that's up there, up, 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 up there, up there, that we haven't got around to moving yet. But back on topic, I see no crystal, and while I could probably make a new one very simply, in fact I could probably make an upgraded version by now, I'm going to go through all of this first. 
Of course, there is also the minuscule, almost impossible chance that it might be in Dr. Phil's basement somewhere. Although, that'd certainly be news to me if it was. Hey, Doctor. Don't mind me. Alright, you win. I bite. How do we make one? It's been a while, but I, I've done it before, so it can't be that hard. Let's make a master one this time, actually. You know what? Let's not make a master one this time. What the hell is this? Oh, that, that, that's easy. Hang on. That's four prosperity shards. Now, where did I put my diamonds? Just need one of them. There we go. Five diamonds up there. Just need one, like we said. So let's take that. Thank you very much. And then it's prosperity, 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 and the diamond. And that gives us the prosperity gemstone, which if we now type in master once again, we have to surround that with supremium in order to get the supremium gem. And supremium is imperium around a gem. And Imperium is Teretium, or Tetrium, which is what we need around a gem. And then that's Prudentium, and we're going to have to make a regular gem, aren't we? Which is four more, for God's sake. Give me that damn diamond. And that's your regular infusion crystal. What are you, Masterwork Shader Grab Bag? I don't know what that is. Okay, either way, with this infusion crystal, what we can do is we can drop a ton of Inferium around here, since we have a ton of Inferium. Give us a bunch of Prudentium. Once I've got the Prudentium, I can then split that between the crystals to get Tetrium, which is what we need. Then I can split the Tetrium, like so, to get the Imperium, and then I can put the Imperium like this and get myself some Supremium. So what I'm seeing here, what this is telling me, is it takes four stacks of, uh, of, of Inferium to get one Supremium which is not too bad of a conversion rate when you consider how common this stuff is. So give me all of that, give me all of that, give me all of that, and give me all of that. There we go, Supremium, lovely. So what I've got to do next, grab that Prosperity Gem, put the Supremium Essence around it like so, and there we go. Supremium Gem, which can actually be used to make Supremium Armor, which is surprising, and Tools, which is pretty good, I think. I honestly wouldn't know. I don't know where the mystical agriculture stuff ranks in terms of power. What's this? Growth accelerator. Grows the plant above it faster. Hell yes! Let's make this instead! What? Oh yes, please. Or we could use it to craft the lily pad of fertility. How do you get fertile essence? Reliquiary is a very strange mod. Either way, I've still got to use this crystal to surround uh, the inferior essence, or rather surround the inferior essence around the crystal, and I've got to do that because I need my tetrium. Now, the tetrium. Why did I need the tetrium? I'll tell you why I needed the tetrium. I needed the tetrium to make the tetrium soil, which would require a hoe. So, all we have to do is get one. And drop that in the top like so, and that gives us the Tetrium Farmland. Brilliant. So now that we've done this, what I want to do next is I'm going to go over to the Batania Hut. And I'm going to do that for the specific reason of we require ourselves a Batania Pot. Yep, so this is going to go in a Batania Pot, or a, oh, a Garden Cloche, or a Seed Reprocessor, or a Phyogenic... Isolator? What? Wait, hang on, no! This is... This isn't how to craft Zodus Quartz Seeds, this is how to get them as a result. I need to know how to craft them. And to craft them, I need more Tetrium, some actual Zodus Quartz, and some Prosperity Seed bases. Okay, that's a bit more realistic, I can do that. I guess we didn't need to be here after all. Whoopsies. So, for a Prosperity Seed base, I need Prosperity Shards around a regular Wheat Seed. I can do that lickety split. Or at least I could if I had the Prosperity on me. God. Damn it. How's that for lack of prosperity? Gimme, gimme, gimme. There we go. Prosperity seed base. Lovely. That goes in the center like so. The next thing that we need is the actual Certus Quartz and the Tetrium. We already have three. We just need one more Tetrium, so let's go do that. Where the hell did our crystal go? It's weird that that wouldn't just automatically pull itself out. There we go. That's Prudentium. That's Tetrium. All four sorted. And if I'm looking at this correctly, the Prudentium went in the corners, right? Yeah. No, the Prudentiums went on the Cardinals. Okay. Not Prudentium, the Tetrium. Now we need the Soda Squartz, which ironically we've actually run out of, so we've got to go and grab some before we can go on to make the thing that makes us some. This should be easier said than done. Wait, no, sorry, I got that the wrong way around. This should be easier done than said. Case in point numero uno. <laughs> Here's some charged Soda Squartz. And near suffocation. Ooh, expectified. Right then, and the Surtis Quartz went on the 
corners. And now if I remember correctly, the last thing we need to do in order to get this thing going is actually just to give it a very quick redstone pulse. And now we wait. There we go, bish bash bosh. We now have Surtis Quartz Seeds. What in the name of sanity are you? <laughs> You're gonna die though. This is, this, is, this is so cute. Hey Phil, check this out. <laughs> so cute. You're not though. Hey, watch what happens to the little guy when I punch his chicken. <laughs> he runs away, that's so cute. Okay, so now that we have the Surtis Quartz Seeds, Herein comes the issue. We don't have a place for them yet because we don't have a fully established farm. And even though we do have a farm area, that putting it over there means eventually I'm going to have to pump it back into here because, I mean, where else am I going to need the Surtis Quartz? So, I think we might actually just, um, let's commandeer this place for now. Can it be planted on sand? No. Ah, screw it. Let's put it over there anyway. Okay, so looking at this circle, I want to try and make this as close to this size as possible, which means I need, again, if I look at this properly, one, two, three, four, five, then the center, then another one, two, three, four, five. So five, ten, eleven in diameter, eleven wide, and I think this one I'm going to put here. If I make this one the center, so... I've got to grab my hoe, but more than that, I've also got to uh, grab some water. Alright, let's mark the center with some gravel. Interesting to know you can just tank creeper explosions. And since this is the center, let's just put the water down here. Lovely. You stay away. Okay, now, if I'm remembering my mining and my crafting correctly, you can go as far out as nine blocks before things start getting a little funky. However, since it's only five on each side, we should be fine. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And then from there, along the outside, it was two on each side. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then for the corners, it was the triangle shape, so it'd be like this. There we go. Like this. But it looks like this might be a little too far out for most of these. Let's go get an advancement really quickly. There we go. Serious dedication. And while we're up here, let's grab ourselves another one of those tanks, since I know we have a bunch spare. Set it to bucket mode. And now if I remember correctly, these things can hold 14 buckets of water. There we go. Let's just put patches of water in the corners. Does it look ugly? Yes. Am I probably going to change it at a later date? Yes. But for now it's functional and that's all that really matters here. Right then, so even though we don't have nearly enough seeds to fill this area right now, what we do have is a crop circle that's testing my patience. As I was saying, what we do have is a single Surtis Quartz seed and the resources to, while not mass produce, since the automation for that would take a whole Anadonia episode, but instead create only a single Tetrium soil. Never mind, we've already created it. It is right there. I am blind. Why am I chugging? Hello, hi, that's new sailor. Give me a break. What the hell was that about? Nice farming, Phil. Oh my god, that lag is horrible. What the hell is happening? I don't know how I feel about that. Is it all of the extra things lying around on the floor? Because I can fix that. It's fine over here, or at least it's better over here. The hell's going on with the server? Bit of a weird issue, but I think I fixed it. Either way, now that we have the single piece of tetrium farmland, what we can do is we can plant that farmland, and then we can plant our seed on top, just like that. So this thing should grow three times as fast. It's a tier three seed, and I think to increase our odds of it growing again, since the watches of flowing time don't seem to work, we can either invest in a watering can or we can invest in a sprinkler. One of these over here. All in all, it doesn't look all that expensive, which is good. Let me just check very quickly if it works with uh, Mr. Clagriculture, though. I knew it was smart to check, apparently, because this works by applying the bone meal effect to nearby plants. It won't actually work with uh, Mr. Clagriculture plants, because for some reason, that I'm going to be nice about. They turned off the ability to bone meal these plants. So instead, we're going to have to look into growth accelerators from the actual mod, such as the Supremium, the Inferium, the Prudentium, 
and stuff like that. So I'm assuming what we're going to do is we're going to place these underneath the soil. So let's go make some, shall we? Why? Absorb the water. So that leaves out sprinklers and the watches of flowing time. It looks like it is hard-coded to only accept the accelerators from its own mod. So what we've got to do is find a way to farm ourselves some inferior essence and quickly. So first of all, let's just scavenge high and low for any and all Inferium that we can find. You know, now's the time where I start to regret getting rid of all of the Inferium that I've picked up over the years that I've been playing this. And after that, going through all of that, I've found that we didn't actually have all that much. We've got two stacks and literally two spare, but it's gonna have to do. Now, looking at this, for each individual growth accelerator, you need four pieces of the actual thing, along with either a Supremium Gem, a Imperium Gem, a Tetrium Gem, and I'm guessing this is a, yeah, Prudentium Gem, and this is a Inferium Gem, okay. So, in order to make those gems, you have to keep upgrading them. Now, we do have a Supremium Gemstone, so it goes to track that we'd need Supremium Essence, which is the highest tier of Essence that we can get. We were going to use this to make ourselves a Master Infusion Crystal, but for now, I say stuff it. Let's make us some Growth Accelerators. Huh, what do you know? We had to stack more in these chests. I mean, not chests, sorry, barrels. Right then, so even after using what we've just found in the barrels, we've only managed to get three Imperium, which means we're going to have to go on a bit of a mob-killing hunt, and what better time to do that than at night time? Well, surprisingly, I could go mining for it, but we had this just sticking in the wall the whole time. Well, damn. You saw nothing. Well, if you can mine Inferium, logic goes that if I can find the correct Y level, I should just be able to absolutely destruction catalyst the hell out of it. Uh-oh. Well, from the looks of it, that plan wasn't all that successful, I'm going to be very honest. I really am just destroying the natural environment, aren't I? I mean, hang on, where the hell did I get Prismarine from? Why is it giving me Prismarine? Did I break into a temple down here? Oh my god, I think I broke into a temple down here. I mean, it's got useless stuff inside, but oh my god, a temple, you know? I think the hard part comes in the fact that usually my mind skips over that hole. In particular, I'll see it and I'll just phase it out as, you know, I don't need that. But now that I need it, because I constantly, like, block it out of my mind, well, I'm blocking it out of my mind. Why are there so many of you down here and why am I blind? Ah uh, yes, now is the time to lag. Ooh, diamond. If you could all just get out of the way of the diamond, please, that'd be great, thanks. You know what, you all deserved that, and I hope you died a very painful death. Thank you for my singular diamond. Okay, that's a little more prudentium for me. We can split this up once again to squeeze even more juice out of it. And there we go, we've got 40 prudentium, which can be evenly split into tens, just like... Not like that. I'm not sure why it would think like that, but there we go. Now we've got some tetrium. Good. And with that 12 tetrium, we can once again split that very evenly into three pieces of imperium. And then obviously with those four pieces of inferium, we can craft ourselves one more supremium. And obviously we still need three other pieces of supremium, which means we need a lot more imperium, which means we need a lot more inferium. There's got to be a better way to mine this. Or rather, farm this. Give me a second while I look into something. I think it's time we start looking into the creation of a mob masher. Advanced modular mob grinder can be enhanced with mob masher upgrades, and they do count as player kills, which means they should, in theory, drop us Inferium. So, all things considered, this is a relatively, huh, excuse me, simple recipe. But it requires a hell of a lot of iron sword, so it's a good thing we've got a hell of a lot of iron. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give a man after midnight. Want oh, somebody help me take the shadows away? That should probably be enough iron swords, to be honest. Now all that's left is to craft the spikes, and we need two of these, so give me two. There we go, good old little guys, and then we can use the spikes with the diamonds, and why would you position it like that? Ew, what is wrong with you? Oh, it requires three diamonds. Hold on, there we go, give me that extra. And there we go, the mob masher. Now obviously this is going to require a hell of a lot of power, but... I mean, as long as we don't overload the system, we should safely be able to use the power system that we've already got in place. You know, the one that we, we, we built during Anadonia. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. 
and since we already have this spawner here, we can just keep taking advantage of the fact that it's spawning creepers, and we can replace the slaughter factory with the grinder. Although, this is going to be very dangerous. I might turn this off to start off with. Let, let, me, let me flip this off so that it doesn't spawn something that can destroy all of this the moment I destroy the mob grinder. Unfortunately, we are going to lose out on 8,000, uh, or rather, 8 buckets of liquid meat and 8 buckets of pink slime, but I mean, come on. And we can always put this back in place if we should need it, but we shouldn't need it. So, here's the mob grinder, or the mob masher, I suppose. I don't quite know how it works, though. Do I have to plug it in here? No, because then that's both... Yeah, that that's, that's, that's both not connected and in the way of the spawner. So do I face it downwards? Do I put it here? That'd be an interesting connection, and I'm stuck. This house is a nightmare. Ah, I'll just take those with me. Or actually, you know what? I'll put them over here. Now, from the looks of it, the masher isn't connected to the power source at the top either, so I don't quite know how this works. And, um, well, so sorry for being sort of cautious, but I don't fancy having an unlimited creeper spawner, you know, functioning. Why is this dropping pumpkin seeds? Bit weird, but okay. Oh, because it's full. Gotcha. Either way, I don't fancy having creepers spawn without this thing working, so let's just quickly figure out a way to get this thing hooked up to some power. Oh, now that's interesting. I've just taken a look at the wiki, and apparently this thing doesn't require actual power to function. It just requires a redstone signal. So what we could do, if we really wanted to, is we can cut this connection... Yeah. So let's remove this. Let's cut this connection. Cut this one. Cut this one, cut this one, this one. Actually, no, no, we need that one. What am I doing? We're going to bring this one up, and then we're going to bring this one across like so to connect down with this useless machine over here. From there, what we can do is, in order to keep this thing trapped, we're going to... We'll put the masher here, and then let's grab some glass. It might be a little strange using quartz glass for this, but... I'd rather it be quartz glass than have to go and find some regular glass, I'm going to be real honest. That's it, so let's put up some containment on either side just to stop it from walking out, and then, if we just grab a lever and just never did anything with it, and it's in one of these backpacks somewhere, or at least it should be. There we go, grab the fan, and then while we're here, let's just grab a second lever for it, because I'm guessing that everything in this pack just runs off of redstone since i think it was actually designed to be vanilla companion which is always good all we've got to do is find the correct way to set this up now i can't use that way because that's technically plugged into the back it's a shame i didn't go around that way but what i suppose i can do actually hang on that thing's not even connected anymore how is that spawning things if it's not connected to the power it's still receiving power, though. Where are you receiving power from? You're not connected. You are not connected to the system. Where are you getting power from? Oh, well, that's confusing and slightly concerning. Either way, it's receiving power, and I'm not sure how. But I need to put the fan right there. So let's steal that. Hopefully not break the power grid we've got in place. Put the fan against the cable. Not that way around. And then all we have to do is stick the lever on top. And push. Brilliant. And then we can just extend around the outside to connect these to the power grid. That thing is already coming up. Well, actually, it's not, but we can just push it to the side like that to connect it into the power grid. And then we can make the final connection over there. It's a bit long-winded, but it works. Now all we have to do is AFK here, and it starts feeding us Inferium. And catalyzing glands. I mean, we could also uh, work on some speed upgrades for this, actually, which... Yeah, I think we might do. Actually, no, it's not even this. It's this that needs the speed upgrade. This thing is really slow for some reason. Let's upgrade the collector. There we go. That upgrades it to the tier 2, and then all we have to do is put it in there. Red matter at the top, and then another U-shape, and that should give us a tier 3. And hopefully the tier 3 should be enough to quickly give this thing some damn pumpkin seeds. That's still not all that quick. That's still a lot slower than I would have hoped for. It's also draining power very quickly. Oh my god. How are you using that much power? What if I connect you directly to the mainframe? Hang on. Wait, what time is it outside? If I'm... Why is it doing this? 
Oh, wait, no, I think it's because it's full and the conve- Ah, oh, I know why it's doing this. Hold on, let me get a depot. Wait. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I don't quite think that's how that's supposed to work. Right, it's not the perfect solution to this, but it's the solution I found would probably work the best. If we stick a depot on here, it'll stop feeding pumpkin seeds to this thing. Yeah, it'll stop- it'll- it'll stop feeding pumpkin seeds. I don't know why it's still doing it here, but... Are you kidding me? Is- There's no way that's why. Hopefully, that's the last incident of it feeding this thing pumpkin seeds. But until then, this thing's having a crisis of power. I need to get this thing hooked up to the mainframe. That's what I was gonna do, wasn't it? Like that. Although that's still extremely draining. System's still full of energy, but it's going somewhere else. Why are these things not... This thing's full on power, but the others are being drained like a mother. Well, either way, it's functional, so I can't really complain. All I've got to do is sit here and wait for a while. Or, once again, there is something else I could be doing. I can never just let myself be lazy, can I? The other thing I could be doing is if I type in at mob grinding utils, I can get us some upgrades. So, for example... We have upgrade to looting, maximum of 10, which would loot times 10, the things that we get from it all. Uh, we don't want to touch the width and height, otherwise we're killing ourselves, but looting is... Oh my god, that's cheap. Let's go make 10 of these, what? Although, d despite how cheap it is, apparently we have none of this, which is interesting. Okay, so one of the things it wants is golden nuggets, so give me a stack of those. Then the other thing is redstone, give me a stack of those. And then the last thing is lapis lazuli. Not Lapis Lazuli, what the hell am I talking about? We need blue dye, which you can get from Lapis Lazuli. I refuse to believe we ran out of blue dye or Lapis Lazuli. Those are like, I remember specifically attempting to safeguard these things. What's going on over here? Now I can chuck the blue dye up here and then I can just tell it to come back to daddy. There we go, give me the blue dye. And from there, we can craft the looting upgrades. Although this might not really be worth all that much if uh, when the time comes, um, these things don't work for Inferium. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And they have an EMC value, so excuse me for a second. Yoink. And check these in here. And that should times our looting by ten. Perfect. Although one thing I am going to do very quickly, because it's going to get on my nerves very fast, is I'm going to take clay out of here and I'm going to put gunpowder in here instead. Just so the only thing it attracts is either catalyzing glands or inferium. Right then. I guess now all we've got to do is wait. I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't just wait. I don't actually think that did anything, all things considered, except mess with these here. I have been waiting for an hour. Are you telling me I could have crafted Inferium seeds and grown them? Because we have a watering can, which speeds up the growth of mystical agriculture stuff. Okay, let's make some seeds. Well, I mean, we've got a second Supremium now, but again, we've got to make some seeds, so let's, let's, let's grab some seeds. As useful as tier 1 seeds are, I want to just quickly check if we can jump straight to making tier 2 seeds. No, from the looks of it, you can't actually make tier 2 seeds. You can only make tier 1 seeds, which I suppose does make sense if you could farm the others it kind of ruins the progression of the rest of this stuff but still that's kind of that's kind of sad that's kind of a letdown either way that right there is three tier one inferium seeds all we've got to do now grab our watering can wherever the hell we left that and then go to town on these bad boys yep there it is we have an inferium water can again it is inferium so it's literally the lowest tier but trust me when i say it works! Sadly though, it looks like this has only grown to 14% in the time that we've been out here, which isn't great, but I mean, what else are we supposed to do besides just wait? And this is why we need growth accelerators. Okay, sweet! So, we have ourselves some Sirtis Quartz Essence, one out of a necessary eight. And then, of course, we have the Inferium, which gave us quite a bit, actually, if that is... You know what, we'll have to rerun that one just to get the math right. From the looks of it, that's 14. So, this will either give us 17, 
or a lot more than that. Okay, never mind. It is only one. But you know what? One is better than none. I didn't even notice it before, but we actually got another Certus Quartz seed to drop, which is brilliant. Two for two. Hell yeah. Okay, well, I'm starting to sense that this endeavor is going to have to be split into two episodes. This one's going to be setting up the foundations, and the next one's going to be providing the framework. Of course, I could surprise myself, and this could end up all happening at, at, at once, but I'm um, gonna, gonna be real honest, not holding my breath on that one. Either way, let's take what little Inferium we did manage to get a hold of and start t uh, transforming it. There we go, that's nine Prudentium from all of that, and what we can do with the Prudentium is we can split that up and get ourselves, I think it'll be two Tetrium? Uh, I, I, I wasn't counting, I don't know what that is. But then we can use those uh, four Tetrium to make one Imperium, and now we just have to make three more Imperium for another Supremium, and then, well, another Supremium after that. Especially if I'm after the growth accelerators. Oh, we're so close. We are so very close. We're just missing two more Supremium. And that's it. I've got to have some more Inferium lying around somewhere. There's no way I've thrown it all out yet. And yet it seems as if I have, which is honestly just baffling. There's nowhere else I can really even think to look for this stuff. I mean, there might be a small amount at the Batania hut, but nothing that's substantial in any way. Could also check Ophelius, I suppose, but I haven't been here since we, uh, since we befriended Dr. Phil. We basically left nothing behind in his clinic. I mean, anything he did leave behind probably got picked clean by raiders or something. Yeah, there's two inferior essence in his chest. That's... Really helpful. All right. I don't know wh where this crossbow came from, but I'm certainly keeping it with the speed it provides me. Jesus Christ. Snares t Do you mind? Snares targets for five seconds on hit. Shots have a 21.41% chance to fire a spectral arrow. Mythic, unbreakable, and it gives me hella speed. Yes, please. What happens if I combine this with the water? Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Only nine? Need four stacks just for one of these things. There's gotta be an easier way of getting them. Let's go back to let's go back to Ancrea for a second. I might have an idea. You know the episode is gonna drag when going back to Ancrea in an episode of Starsick is considered out of the normal. Oh dear 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 dear. I've got a spare block placer, spare devouring generator. What happened? to the stack of netherite that's here, apparently, but that's weird. What happened to the item placer, or did I end up using them all? Because there's none in these chests. Oh. I think the server might be dying. Oh, and just as I was about to do something, the game crashes. Great, thanks. Okay, so we have our sticks. Funny story, I don't remember why we were making them. There's not... Mm, there's not much too funny about that story now that I think about it, actually. Um... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes! Item users. Right, tripwire hooks and planks, which means we need logs, which means we need wood, which we have a lot of, actually. All that's left to make is the gold and the dispenser. Now, the dispenser, very simple. All we need is a bow, which requires string. Okay. And there we go. That's the dispenser. Now, all we need is the blocks of gold, which... Yeah, we can just take them from here. I thought I might have to make them and put them back in there, but no, we just had them. And bish bash bosh, item user. Now, our current version of the watering can can only work in a 3 by 3 area, so admittedly, this is going to be about as effective as... You know, I was going to be sarcastic there, but a 3 by 3 area. So if we set this up, uh, here. Let's put it on top of this, like so. Really? Why don't let me put you there? Why not? Alright, let's do this the long way, I guess. Why do I carry, like, zero building blocks? I wish there was a way of rotating this. And then do this, and then set it to tick delay of... Set it to a tick delay of, like, 15, because why not? Then we can get rid of this thing here, stick that back in the backpack, and then all we need to do... We we can use... Uh, actually, I was going to say we can use a tier 5, but we've got the tier 6 right next to it, so all we're going to do then, bish bash bosh, stick that on top, and then during the day, this thing is going to be full of power. All we're going to do then... We are going to have to break this, but we do get the seed back. And then that should be it. If I set it to always on... Should yeah, now it should just be growing this stuff. We're not gonna see the particle effects, I don't think, but it should just be working. If I set the tick delay to literally zero, 
Yeah. And I think because it's spamming it, it's actually a little more effective than if I were to just leave it. So if I now put this seed back down... Oh wait, I already did that, never mind. The point is, I can now just collect it like so. I think we found a loophole. Okay, now I've got a theory I want to test. Because the watering can is being used uh, by an item user, technically it's now a block that's doing it. And because it's a block that's now doing it, if I give it a watch of flowing time, will that actually speed up the effects of the, of the, of the watering can? Because I feel like that might be a loophole that they didn't quite think about. It is! Oh, I love you exploitation. I, wait, don't, 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 don't take that out of context, please. Oh, you are kidding me. Phantoms, really? Yeah, no, we're not dealing with that. What do you guys think? Is it more effective to go in a line like this, or is it more effective to just do this? Wait, I've just realized something. If I've got this, then why do I need this? It, it just doesn't quite make sense. Hmm. Okay, so I admit I couldn't do it by hand. I had to build uh, an automated thing for this. And, and it's, it's in a very different design, which means it's not thematically the same, but this is just what I could do with what I had on hand. Uh, but the important part is it is working and it is near instant. The only thing stopping this thing from being brilliant is its speed, which we could improve if we decided to attach this thing to a steam engine, but again, this was just something I could whip up like that. This was designed to be quick. However, one thing that I didn't manage to do, that I do want to do quickly, because as you can see, it's causing a bit of an issue, is I want to get a hold of a... Ah, what are they called? What are they called? What are they called? Uh, ah, hold on. Portable storage interface. That's it. Right there. Portable storage interface. I need some of these, which all things considered are very easy to make. I just didn't want to because I wanted to get the main thing done, which was actually the windmill bearing and the sails. Those were the hardest things to do. And uh, once this is complete, we might not even need this, to be completely honest with you. Once this is complete, the block that we're trying to make might actually do that thing's job for it. Especially if it is affected by the watch of flowing time. If it's not, I mean, we can just stick one of these over every quadrant until it does. But, you know, we might not have to, which is really nice for once. Right then, anyway, portable storage interface, let's go! And in order to do that, I do need to flatten two brass. And there we have it, two portable storage interfaces. Right, let's go stick these onto the thing. God damn it, where'd I put the glue? I just had it. There it is. Right, so very quickly, we're gonna have to stop this device. Then we're gonna have to stick the portable storage interface on one side of it, and the other side... Well, I mean, we can just stick that to a, a, a netherite barrel. Right then, so very quickly, let's just stop that. There we go and then stick one of these on the end. And then the other one goes there, I believe? And then they meet in the middle. All I've got to do then is grab another right barrel. Either way, off you go. Yes, I knew that'd work out. Right then, either way, it may not be fully automated, but right now we do have a legitimately semi-automated a way of getting Surtis Quartz. This is brilliant. This puts us so far forward in terms of what we can do, especially for this machine right here. You guys don't have to worry about this one, especially if you're only watching Starsick, but for the main series, for Anadonia, this is going to be revolutionary. I am shitting buckets. Speaking of buckets, I need a barrel. Gimme. And that should fix that issue, technically. Let's see it. I'm picking it all up first. Oopsies. Let's see it deposit stuff. Or not. Why is it not... Oh, there's nothing to actually contain it on the thing. Hold on. I hate when I'm stupid. The amount of time that this damn tablet thing saves is genuinely, like, refreshing. I am in love with the tablet. It has made my life so much easier, and I'm so glad I decided to build it. It is... It was such a good idea. Excuse me. Thank you. And... We're only going to need one because you're constantly going to be depositing. There you go. Although now I do have to re-hoe the ground. Good thing I am good at hoeing. And watch it deposit when it comes around this side. Oh, come on. Why aren't you making deposits? Why aren't you making deposits? Come on. Deposit. God, come on. It did nothing. Either way, we've got a ton of Sodas Quartz seeds, so let's plant the rest of these. We can only really do it in this square for now. Um, But I mean... Again, we can just duplicate this all across the top if we need to. Although before we do do that, I, I just want to see how good the Imperium Grow Block is, because if the Imperium, Imperium Grow Block is good, 
then we're shorted. Brilliant, we got ourselves three Imperium, one Tetrium, two Inferium, and then... Well, that's it, because we left we, we left the rest of it back here, for God's sake. Yeah, I don't get it, it's not dropping anything off. Does it only drop things off when it's full? Because if so, it's... It's gonna be a while. Why the hell are you frozen? What are you waiting on? Oh, yeah, you're out of that, aren't you? Whoopsies. Well, I mean, we've just fixed that, so I can set that up after the session, or... Well, I, I suppose I'll have to wait until the next Anadonia recording session, but... I, I'm excited! Ah, the voices! Voices! Anyway, with that Imperium, we are now on three out of four Superium. We're nearly there. You know what, while we're here, let's make some more Inferium seeds. Actually, no, it's not Inferium seeds we need to make more of. It's the item activators and watering cans. Or we could just make a new watering can because that increases the range. See, Inferium is 3x3, three three, Prudentium 5x5, five five, Tetrium 7x7, seven seven, Imperium 9x9, nine nine, and Supremium 11x11, eleven eleven, and that, that would cover the entire thing. Granted, it's hella expensive. But we could make that now. We could really make that now. No, no. It's tempting. It's really tempting. And I should. And it would probably help me in the long run. But no, I'll do that. I'll do that when I'm done with my first goal. Because all of this, don't forget, is done with the explicit purpose of making sure we can renew these so that we can create these so that we can then create these. No, these. Okay, well, since the portable storage interface isn't working, I'm just gonna very quickly and very sneakily do this. Gimme, gimme, gimme all my stuff, and then off you go. I hope to God this will be enough for that last block of Inferium, because if not, this is gonna be just really inferior. No pun intended. After grabbing the Inferium from the mob grinder, which is really, again, no pun intended, inferior to the farm that we've got up set outside, which, again, in quotes, is barely even a farm, I think that's pushing me just over what I need, because that's given me four Tetrium, which can give me a single of the Imperium, but that gives me four total Imperium, which I can now use to make the last Supremium. And with the last Supremium, I can make the grow block. Gimme. Now, this says it grows the plant above it faster and it has a range of 60 blocks. Now, does that mean that this is going to be effective for a 60 block range around it and it's giving me three to be nice? Or does that mean it's only going to affect the one on top and the 60 blocks is just really redundant, not useful, and dumb information? It's sad that I have to ask that question, but that's what this mod pack has done to me. It has made it so that that question is an absolute necessity at all times. Either way, because of the way that it's laid out and the way that it says it works, what I've got to do is I've got to get under this machine, under the center of this machine, so right here, get out of the way of the harvester so I don't get harvested, drop down into the thing, there we go, and then go down one more, and then I've got to set this block here as Supremium. Let me out. And now, the easiest way to test if this has actually worked or not, is to plant a seed on the complete opposite side within a 40 block range. What is the uptime on this thing again? Uh, grows the plant above it faster. Range 60 blocks. Doesn't specify how much faster. Here's a second test, a second theory if you will. What it- get out of my way. What if I do this? Okay, nothing. Next test, still absolutely nothing. So what I'm hearing from this is that this block was a waste of time and it isn't as effective as a watering can and a solar panel in an item user with a watch of flowing time. So you know what? I'm gonna keep this buried. I'm gonna keep this buried underground for when I need it in the event that I ever decide to craft the lily pad of fertility. And I'm gonna go make myself a bitchin' watering can. Okay, so since that was a bust, what we're gonna do, we're gonna plant a bunch more Inferium seeds and we're gonna just... Oh, you, we're gonna use the Inferium seeds to get more Inferium, to get more of the Supremium so that we can make ourselves a Supremium water can so that we can make an even stronger thing. Right, so, it's currently out of the range, but that doesn't matter. At least not right now, it doesn't. There we go. There's gotta be a way I can make this spin quicker. Okay, so fun fact about the item user. It has an EMC value, and you wanna know something about the watering can? It does not, but that's fine because the basic one is actually just some Inferium ingots, which is two Inferium and a Prosperity ingot, which is just four Prosperity and four Iron, and well, you know how much Prosperity we got, baby. Okay, so if that's that three by three, then this one 
would have to be for this 3x3. Three three. So what we could do is, if we wanted it on the same level, we've just got to go like this, right? Nope, because that's one too high. So what we've actually got to do is go like this. There we go, and then we can mine this one. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And then what we've got to do, we've got to get ourselves another one of those watering cans. Let's set the tick delay to one. Doesn't require redstone. Let's give it some power in the form of one of these solar panels, like so. Stick that on top. All we're going to do now, grab a watering can, and for that we just need some basic inferium, which, guess what? Uh, oh, yeah, it, we are safe to do that. Guess what we have in here? Yoink. There we go. Give me a stack of those bad boys. Then all we're going to do, stick one there, stick that there, cut it in half, and now we have 32 inferium ingots. From there, of course, it's just a matter of getting the actual watering can, which is all just a bowl, some iron, and some bone meal. And actually, that's quite interesting. The base watering can has an EMC value. Isn't that fun? So let's take this basic watering can and let's go and pay a little trip to the tablet on the wall downstairs. Right here. So give me that. There we go. And the next thing we need was fertilizer, but oh look, what do we have in our inventory? Oh, but of course we need mystical fertilizer. It's not enough just to be regular fertilizer, which means we need diamond. I'll just be taking that. Thank you very much. Or actually, before we do that, let's just uh, evenly space this out, shall we? Just like this. Da 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 da. And drop those in the center now. Oh, de do da da. And give me. Ooh, 40. Mamma mia, that's hot. It's a hot, a hot, a spicy meatball. And then all we gotta do is a little flick of the wrist. A hey, little flick of the wrist. A hey, little flick of the wrist. A. Hey. And we got ourselves another inferior water can. Let's repeat that ad infinum. Or, you know, just as many times as we can. And let's drop a Rooney you in there. And all of a sudden, something seems to be growing quite quickly. Or at least it should be if it knows what's good for it. But of course, there's no watch of time in this area, so it's not as efficient as that one. But, I mean, hey, we can change that very easily. You seriously think you can hurt me in any way that I care about? Now, very quickly, let me just tab out and check. What is the range of a watch of flowing time? Placing a watch of flowing time on a pedestal and activating it gives a speed increase of 7% to all machines within 4 blocks. This effect stacks to a maximum of times 10. <sighs> so what you're saying is... This is reaching 1, 2, 3, and 4. Which means we would need 1 in the center, and that would reach 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we'd need 1 for the outside. Oh, I couldn't have done it 1 further in as a circle, could I? Oh no, I couldn't, but... That's not important because we can compensate. Right, give me this stack of podiums. And give me one of these watches. Right, and so first things first, we need to go under the center. Uh, where are we gonna get under? Is there a block here? Yeah, there is. Is there a block here? No, there's not. We can go down here. If the contraption will get out of my goddamn way. Let me in. Let, let, thank you. And then since this didn't work, we can just move this off to one side. And then this one can go here. That's it. Oh, twat off. Oh, are you serious? And there we go. With the watch of flowing time, go. Oh, my God. I don't know what to think about that. Uh, huh. I, I, I guess. Oh, that's, that's. That's so unbelievably fucked. <laughs> that is so... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. I mean, yes, but oh, no. Oh, I love that. That is brilliant. Let's mess it up even more. I don't believe this is how the crate mod was designed to be used, but... Um, well... It's sure as hell funny. See, I feel like on some level, this is probably going to come back to bite me in the ass at some point. But I mean, hasn't yet. This is going to be the most difficult placement I have ever had to undertake. Getting near the damn thing <laughs> is enough to send me flying. I don't know how I'm going to get in and under quick enough. Unless maybe I'm lucky enough to sink it. Oh, God. <laughs> to sink into the water? I've got to time this Perfectly. No, I failed. Fuck. Get me in the water, god damn it. 
Let me in the water. No, let me in. Let me in the water. Let me in the water. No. Oh god, what have I done? Uh, there, I'm in. <laughs> right then. Oh no, come on, please don't do me like this. I am begging you. No, I'm not close enough. Okay, we can do this. There we go, now we've just got to get out alive. Okay, so this side of things, I wanted to be Surtis Quartz Seeds. So let's make that a reality, shall we? And then all we have to do is put the watering can in here. Set it to always active. And give it a solar panel. Either it's moving so fast I can't see it. Or it's not moving at all. And I'm terrified to find out which is which. Let's do that. Okay, let's, let's do that. And let's see what this is. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh, that's why this one wasn't working. Hang on. I never gave it water. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have I done? I mean, oh, God, but oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. I need a back. Really? You really think now is the time? I've broken the laws of agriculture. And you think you can stop me with bow and arrows? I'm wearing something harder than the hardest metal found in this world. And you think you can take me down with a bow and arrow? Buddy, you got a big storm coming. As much as I want to continue this thing running, I genuinely feel it would be irresponsible to leave it going, given how, what, two minutes filled it up that much. I, 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 I am baffled by how quick that worked. And... To be honest, terrified, because, I mean, look at all of this Surtis Quartz. Look at all of this Surtis Quartz. I, we are set for life. Oh, and that's just broken automation. Imagine what it's going to be like when that thing is running at full capacity. When that thing isn't bound by the constraints of storage space. Honey, there's a big storm coming, and it ain't going to stop. Well, that's a lot of Surtis Quartz. Time to... to <laughs> Time to put that to good use. I mean, part of it's gonna go towards making ME storage components. Yeah, but I mean, Christ alive. We're, 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 we are set for life. Give me, give me a stack of these. What was the other thing we needed? Fluix dust? You know you can grow these with seeds too, right? You, you, can, you can grow these with seeds too. Oh my God, uh, I've created a monster. I need a stack of charge now. I need a stack of uncharged. Do you want to know what? Let's speed this up. No, I can't. I, my heart will give out if I bring another watch of flowing time into this equation. Okay, and that's six regular energy cells. Now, looking at this, it doesn't actually tell us how much energy they stall. So, uh, not stall, store. So let me just quickly check the wiki page. Okay, well, it contains 200,000 KAE, uh, which is kilojoules per... Applied Energistics, I really don't know what their power conversion thing is, but it doesn't say what a dense one does. How do we get... Uh, oh, calculation process is going to require inscribers, that's all of this stuff. I Listen, I, I like inscribers, but after building this, I don't want to touch them for a while, so what we're going to do is instead, we're going to charge up these energy cells, and to do that, if we don't want to do it here, because obviously this is starsick, I know, shocking reminder. What we're going to have to do is we're going to go to uh, Applied Energistics, and we're going to have to craft ourselves a second ME controller, I believe. Or are we? Actually, hang on. Do we need to do that? I don't think we do. Let me test something. If I just put this here... Right, okay, it does. We need another ME controller. So, let's make one. For an ME controller, it's Skystone, Fluix Crystals, and an Engineering Pro- oh, In that case, since there's obviously still quite a lot that needs to be done, we do have our energy cells, we just don't have a method of charging them yet. I'd say this has been a successful episode of Starsick. It's felt a little weird to me that we've spent so long at the Anadonia base, but when it comes to the technical stuff, we kinda have to. I mean, unless you want to build everything in there from scratch for the brand new series, which I'd be fine with. 
it'd just take about seven more years. So I'd say I'd call this part one of uh, getting the spatial pylons to actually function. And in part two, we should finish everything else. Because I mean, most of this was just, well, well, it was just setting up the framework, like I mentioned earlier. The rest of it will be filling in that framework. I'm going to finish setting this up in between sessions because even though it's easy, it's just busy work and I try and keep stuff like that off camera just because it gets kind of boring. I'm going to figure out why the uh, portable storage interface isn't actually offloading stuff. And once I've done that, I'm going to figure out um, how to not completely overwhelm my storage system. Uh, but yeah, that's that. I'm going to call that there. Welcome to the end of this episode of Star Sick. If you liked it, leave a like. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. If you like me and all the stuff that I do, subscribe. And uh, yeah, in case I don't see you, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. See you in the next one, shitlords. Bye-bye!